Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm coming at you with a new DIY project in the uh, box and package. I have a bunch of parts to fit a quick connect on my generator, my portable generator. I have another video that's uh, maybe a couple years old that shows uh, that I modified our gas generator into a propane generator. It can do uh, tri-fuel. And uh, I want to hook up a quick disconnect to make it quicker and easier to hook up the propane cylinder. All right, guys. So I got a bunch of parts here that uh, I purchased through Amazon. And I'm just taking apart and getting ready to put together. So essentially, I have to go from three quarters of an inch down to three eighths. And the main quick connect here is a Mr. Heater. You can see that. And uh, this will fit a lot of different types of connections as far as different um, brands. I think Charbroil, Mr. Heater, and one of the other big companies uses this type of connection. And again, it's going to be quite easy to put together. And I have a shut off here that's rated for gas. That's cool. And eventually I'm getting down to 3 8 here, the flare setting. So. And I'll show you what I have in the generator next once I put this together. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the connections I have. This is uh, one long pipe here with uh, lots of adapters and so forth. But I have an elbow, 90 degree. It's a, a street elbow, so it has the male to the female. A coupler here that's three quarter inch to a three quarter inch gas shut off. Another coupler to a three quarter inch uh, reducer to three eighths coupler. To my quick connect fitting here all right so here's the other end of the uh, quick connect which is going to attach to the hose which goes out to the propane cylinder i have an adapter here which takes it from 3 8 and combines it to a 3 8 uh, male flare adapter and the hose is 3 8 female flare i want to show you how easy it is to connect the two all you do is pull down, insert, and let go. All right, so my next step here is to uh, put the pipe glue on, tighten everything up, and then attach it to the regulator on the generator. All right, so I got my number five pipe thread sealant. This is good for, uh, for gas. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the threads here. Lastly, just want to say that when you uh, put something like this together, I really had to just sit down and close my eyes and visualize what did I what did I need to make all these connections to get from three quarter inch to a eventually three eighths flare and do it with a quick connect. So then I sat down with Amazon and I had that kind of had that sketched out in my head. And I said, okay, I need this adapter. And then if I get to this, I need a coupler. I need another coupler, reducer. I need another uh, coupler. Then I need my disconnect. And then I need to go to my hose. So everything's done in sequence, but I kind of had to lay it out in my head and then put it together piece by piece as I shopped on Amazon to get all these parts. And I felt it was easier to do it on Amazon because I could just put it in my cart and say, okay, and do it in sequence and say, okay, well, I got this, this leads to this, this leads to this, and I got it down to where I need to start and where I need to finish. All right, guys, so I'm outside here with a generator. Here's my tri few conversion kit. If you want more information about this, check out the U.S. Carburation, and I have a link below for that also to another YouTube video. So right here I have a three quarter inch to three eighths flare. And this is where my hose plugs in. 
I'm going to take that off and put the new line in like this. Pretty easy to do. And here's the other end of the propane hose that goes into the cylinder. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, hooked up everything, pressurized the line, got the other end put in here. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a soapy water test here just to make sure there's no leaks in it. Make sure I don't see any bubbles. And I gotta check the other side. All right, I just checked the other side. We are good to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and move some things here, give it a start up and see how it works. I'm pretty psyched about this. All right guys, so let's take a look now at how easy it is to hook up this generator to the propane cylinder using the quick connect. Right, guys I'm gonna sign off here hope you enjoyed this video and this was helpful for you just want to mention that uh, if you do have a gas generator and you can modify it to try a few especially for propane and natural gas it's a great thing to do because your generator runs better the carb is cleaner and you can store propane for a very long time it won't go bad thanks for watching you know what to do like subscribe comment always leave a comment and we'll catch you next time